Now, the Senate has confirmed Stephen Mnuchin as uh, Treasury Secretary, ending one of the tougher confirmation battles for President Trump's cabinet picks. Let's get more. And uh, joining us is now Ramy Innocencio. Hey, Ramy. Yeah, well, finally, the U.S. has its lead man on economic policy, as well as on the, those promised tax cuts from uh, now President Donald Trump, as well as uh, the potential declawing or deregulation out of Dodd-Frank here. Now, the vote came in just less than an hour ago, Rish, and uh, it was almost along party lines, 53 uh, to 47. Uh, the If it were along a party line vote, that would have been 52 to 48, one Democrat crossing the aisle to support uh, Mnuchin here. Uh, but uh, this had been fraught with boycotts, especially from the Democrats, uh, boycotting the Senate Finance Committee hearing last week to try to derail his nomination. And it turns out, uh, interestingly, that it's been three weeks, Rish, uh, ever since the U.S. actually had another working Treasury Secretary. And according to lawmakers, that's the longest amount of time uh, ever uh, that there has been a leadership vacuum at the top of the Treasury Secretary uh, uh, position. But looking ahead in terms of what he is going to be dealing with, along with those uh, uh, cuts to taxes that have been promised by Mr. Trump and deregulation, uh, most importantly, March 15. Look Look at that, the expiration of the U.S. debt ceiling suspension. Many people are hoping that he will help the U.S. avoid a default on U.S. debt. And just a few days later, March 17 to March 18, he should be going to Germany because there's going to be a G20 finance ministers meeting as well as a board of governors meeting there. So he is definitely heading into this position now confirmed uh, with a very full plate in just the next few weeks, Rish. Well, we've got also uh, the new president meeting with the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau. Any idea what was on the agenda there? What topics did they discuss? And perhaps what's maybe more important is what they perhaps didn't. <laughs> uh, you know, they, they talked about the, the main uh, topics that you would expect them to talk about. They talked about uh, economic policy. They talked about trade. And they talked about uh, security. Let's go and take a listen uh, specifically. Oh, actually, we don't have enough time, so we won't go there. But basically, they said that uh, the, their economic ties are strong and that they're going to continue to be here, and especially because uh, 35 U.S. states, interestingly, here list Canada as their largest export market, dealing with $2 billion each day in bilateral trade, Rish.